Now you've got one. Up your hands, boys. We're here for your guns. Oh, man, I want that! people will cheer for a triple homicide. <laughs> Frank McLowry, dead. Tom McLowry, dead. 19-year-old Billy Clanton, dead. That was it. Over before it ever started. Two months after this gunfight, Virgil Earp was ambushed outside the Crystal Palace Saloon. Three shotguns went off, but he still refused to die. Crippled up pretty bad, Virgil wandered the West until death found him in Nevada in 1905. Kind of morbid, aren't you? He died. <laughs> Not as lucky was Wyatt's kid brother, Morgan. Shot in the back and killed, playing a game of pool up on Allen Street. Morgan died at midnight, March 19th, 1882. His brother Wyatt's birthday. Now in 1887, the year this whole town began to fall apart, after a lifetime of drinking and smoking, well, tuberculosis caught up with yours truly up in Colorado. I don't care to talk about it. <laughs> Wyatt Earp was the last man standing out of all this. He'd spent his days traveling. Wyatt made his way from Idaho to Alaska, finally ending in Jazz Age Hollywood searching for another tombstone and the chance to get things right again. He never would find it. When Wyatt died in Los Angeles in 1929, just ahead of his 81st birthday, his final words? Suppose. Suppose. And that, folks, is our show. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah.